Now you may have wondered why Tableau's random function doesn't show up in the list of functions. If we go back to Tableau Prep, where we made our fake targets, we click on create a new calculated field and we search for the word random. Nothing shows up. So the reason for this is that Tableau's random function at this point in time is not supported by Tableau. It's built in for testing and engineering purposes generally. And I'd also like to think that for people delivering webinars like me, that they thought of making it a little bit helpful for us. Instead, we recommend generating random numbers in different ways. So this example will show you a tiny, tiny piece of the TabPy Python integration, but you could also use R and there's a number of other tools as well. If you want to install TabPy, look at the link there. You can Google TabPy. What we've learned from this poll is that a TabPy workshop would be helpful to attendees in the future. So we'll get that scheduled in the new year. Watch your email. So let's go to Tableau Prep and see how this works. What we're going to do now is we're going to add another couple of steps. So rather than use our fake targets block that we have here, we're going to add one more branch. And this time I'm going to add a script and I'm going to move it down just so that it's away from our main workflow there. What we're going to do is we're going to select tab Pi. In order to leverage Tableau's Python integration, you need to have a Python server running. In Tableau Prep, I'm going to click Connect to Tableau Python. These are the default values that come with TabPy. You may configure yours differently. I'm going to hit Sign In. And I'll call this TabPy Targets just for sake of argument. I'm going to tell Tableau that I want to look at my random.py file, which I'll show you momentarily. This is a fairly simple Python file. We're going to import pandas and numpy. We're going to use the random number function shown here with a specific seed value. The reason for the seed value was to ensure that I would get the same distribution every time. If you're using this to intentionally generate random numbers, you should not have this seed value. What we can do within Python is we can define a number of fields. So we can define percent target as an example, and we're going to say anywhere between 30 and 130 percent. We can define our government target, so we can calculate this in Python if we so wish and we can add a field for source. In terms of the output from Python, Tableau Prep requires that we tell it what the output schema looks like. So you can see there's a number of fields here that already exist in our workflow, but aren't being used by Python at all, such as geo and data updated date. In any case, we're going to output the percent target and the source. But for sake of argument, I'm also going to add the gov target here, Now that we have that, I'm going to hit save one more time, and I'm going to go back to Tableau Prep. Oh, uh, we also need to provide the function name in order for Tableau Prep to be able to find it. Apologies for that. Our function is pct underscore target. So we'll put that into Tableau Prep. What we can see now, if we preview our data, is that Tableau Prep has returned our government target and our pct target and it's returned a source of Python. Now you'll remember that we named our fake targets as something else in the database. So let's go back up to that one, borrow the name, and then we'll rename it here. Just so that everything comes through as intended. I will now add one more step in between these two. So this time, unlike most of our other steps, I want to select the plus that's located in the middle of this line. I'm going to add a union. And then I'm going to drag my tab pie targets up until I see the word add and add it to my union. This will append my Python targets to my existing Tableau generated targets. And I'm going to hit the run button. I can see now that I've got 240 rows generated instead of 120. 
because I've effectively duplicated my data with two different styles of targets. If I go back to Tableau Desktop and I go to the worksheet and refresh my data, If I put source up to say columns, just for sake of argument, I can see that I'm getting different responses from Python versus Tableau's random function. Perhaps our most stark example on the screen currently is here. This is not to say that either one of them is right or wrong necessarily. They're generating random numbers in a different way. But this just goes to show that how we use these random numbers can result in different results, which would be intentional for our purposes. So this is a really basic overview of how to do TabPy integration with Tableau Prep so that we can generate some fake targets using a bunch of random numbers. This concludes our example on the very basics of TabPy integration, but we'd encourage you to read more. It's really, really powerful, and we've barely scraped the surface today. Thanks for watching.